totally look like a boss today. Check this out. I'm just gonna go over uh, all the gear I have. So I've got a wedding this weekend. It's the same day edit. I'm about to fly out for it. So I've got, I'm packing very light. So I'm gonna meet my second and third shooter there, but this is everything that I'm bringing. I have a couple things, you know, waiting for me, but I'll go through it. So I've got a jacket. I'm, uh, it's kind of warm. So I'm gonna keep, keep warm as far as that. But uh, this is my support bag. And uh, it's very heavy. It's probably about 50 pounds for sure. And just to keep safe while I check it, you know, I'm going to uh, put this lock on so no one can get in. But I love this bag. This thing is awesome. Uh, and as you can see, it is jam packed. So I've got my dress clothes in here. I'm gonna use that for the day of the wedding. You also see I stuffed a little bit of like the rest of the clothes I'm gonna wear uh, for the day of the wedding in there. So, you know, why not fill up all the spaces with the rest of my clothes? So I've got two Countryman B3s in here. Um, so that's as far as for the H1s, the Lavs. I'm using one of these right now. So I've got three. Those are all set to go. And as you, as you can see, I love these clear bags um, just so I can see what's in them and keep everything nice and organized. Uh, we've got cables to tap into the DJ and also a couple connectors and stuff in case you know I need to send the audio from my laptop for the same day edit to the DJ. Um, and here I've got more like bathroom stuff. Uh, deodorant or whatever for my trip. This is a lens holder. Uh, here's an undershirt. So as you can see, like I, I fill up the spaces with all the little stuff. Here I've got a nice tacky light. I'm gonna have one light for the wedding. This can spot really well. And uh, you know, with the six Ds, I'm gonna have two of those and then a, a I think a T3i. So these three cameras should, at least the six Ds will do fine in low light, so. For like the toasts, I'll use this as like a hair light to add some depth, um, yeah, for the reception. And with this light, you know, I've got the charger, the battery, and the light in there. Uh, I'll use this uh, light stand for that light. It's very small. This is like the smallest and lightest I think I can get for like, you know, the size that I want. So I'm using this, this is like a diffusion bag, but I think it works really well for like coiled up cables. So I've got HDMI, a long cord for the same day edit. I've got a long RCA cable. I've got power for the projector and then I also have a remote for the projector. So this is like my same day edit bag for cables. Um, and then for the projector for the same day edit, I've got this Epson 720p, you know, pretty good lumens. It's a pretty straightforward projector. I like it a lot. Um, I've got my Edelkrone slider in here, nice little case. I've got the ball head for the slider. I've got two tripods, one with a large head, one with medium, a small head. I've got two Rode VideoMic Pros. So I'm gonna use one of these and I'm gonna give my second shooter the Rode VideoMic Pro for the preps. And that's really the only times, you know, the, the preps are the when I want to get that ambient dialogue audio. Everything else, I'll probably take it off. I've got my uh, monopod, and that's it for the uh, support bag. So, as far as my camera bag, this is equally as heavy. Um, I just have headphones, sunglasses, chapstick, very small things that I might need. Uh, I've got nice headphones that I'm gonna use to listen to music on the way there and uh, use for the same day edit. There's a Beats. Um, power for my laptop, which is over there right now. So I'm gonna put that in here right before I leave. So that's a MacBook Pro right now. I'll use that for the same day edit. And I have a hard drive waiting for me when I get there. It's gonna be a RAID Thunderbolt like 500 gigabyte, I think. So I'm gonna put all the files on that and edit off of that. Um, here I've got my portable power. Charge my phone, charge the thing, and then I can actually use this to power uh, my Tascam, which you'll see. Kindle for reading, graph paper for writing. 
onto the camera stuff. So in here, I have uh, my Canon 6D, 7200, 8500, 70, or 24 to 105, 50, 35. These lenses, my second and third shooters will have some more gear. They'll have another 6D, another T3i, some 50s, you know. I've got the Zacuto base plate on the bottom of my camera. So if I'm outside, I'll definitely use this. Um, I've got my Tascam DR60. So that's how I'll record sound with the DJ. I've got one charger. I've got a ton of batteries and my second shooter has, a bat has batteries. So that's fine for the cameras, you know. And then I've got eight AA rechargeables in case I need that for anything. I've got four Manfrotto base plates because I'm actually gonna be letting my second shooter use one of those cameras or the tripods for their camera. So I've got four of these because I need like one, two, and then two for the other camera because we're gonna have two 70 and 200s with two 60s. I've got my media. I like to keep it organized in one thing. So I've got two 32s here. And I've got a fast 32. And then I've got 5D Mark III Magic Lantern, but I'm not gonna need that. A backup audio and then a backup micro adapter. So I have another 32 in here, but I'll probably just use the four of these for the day. You know, that should be enough, especially if we're dumping cards and whatnot. And in here, I just have a little bit of like backup in case I need it kind of stuff. So like extra nine volts, some Velcro, micro fiber, and then, you know, basic little <laughs> like first aid kit for camera gear. And that's it, you know, I'm traveling very light, uh, looking forward to shooting the first wedding of the year. You know, this is, I shot some winter stuff, but this is like first one of the season. So I'm definitely gonna have more behind the scenes as the same day that it goes on and uh, wish me luck. Thanks, see ya.